Hi everyone, I am Mayur Mistry, currently Masters in Architecture student at University of Illinois. Recently I attended my first AI convention in Vegas, so I wanted to share my experience with you guys. On day one, I started with a lecture on biomimicry. It was interesting to know how can we learn from other species and apply those things in architecture. Then I attended a session on waterfront resiliency, they talked about what are the different site strategies. I played the scavenger hunt game and guess what, I won the game. I attended the keynote speaker, it was so inspirational. And then I went to the emerging professional party. The best part about AI convention which I really liked was people were so humble, so nice and open to share their own experience and advice to young students and other colleagues. Like during the opening night, I met Peter Exley. A really good discussion with Michael Kemp. What I really liked, like he, he was very honest with me regarding the profession. He talked about like working in big firms versus small firms. My name is Annette Baima and I'm currently here um, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Walter Street, Cargo, Illinois. My name is Joyce Aureus, I'm AIA. I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, my name is Peter and I'm an architect um, in, from Sacramento, California. Well, my name is Cesar Sabalas, AIA. I was born in the Philippines and uh, I moved here in Las Vegas. I'm in the process of being licensed. I've passed all my exams and I'm in the last 20 hours of my AXP, so I hope to be licensed by the end of the summer. <laughs> well, I'm an architect. The firm is Walter Street Architecture. We keep it simple. I am an architect. My specialty is casino and entertainment architecture. So I am a designer at the, in our Sacramento office. I work with Architectural Nexus. I'm an architect. Uh, I, I do uh, sort of uh, different kinds of commercial and residential projects. Um, it was actually about cognitive neuroscience, which is something that I feel is really could seriously benefit the architecture community, and I was really excited about hearing people's perspectives on it. Um, just got out of the keynote speech, and that was amazing. It was great to hear from a wide variety of people and a wide variety of experiences, and it's been very entertaining and very energizing to go forth and do more design work and proceed. Uh, day one, I'm a delegate from my chapter, so I participated in hearing the candidate speeches and uh, the business meeting. Peter Exley, the new president, is from Chicago, and one of my good buddies, as you can tell from my English accent, it's like his. Day one, day one was interesting because for the first time I volunteered for AIA to support the AIA here in Las Vegas, in my hometown. So uh, it was quite busy. I learned how it is to be on the organizational side of things and to really help people. So I really enjoy that, interestingly enough, to see humanity in all its forms from all parts of the United States. And that what came to me is that we're all the same, really. We all have the same questions, problems, concerns, and what makes us happy. It's a nice feeling. I flew in Wednesday night pretty late and got in. Uh, so first thing Thursday morning, uh, I had signed up for this tour. It's actually a sketching tour. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we went down to Fremont Street, the old original strip of Las Vegas, kind of historic area, along with a container park that's uh, new, helping to revitalize the area. So. Um, we went on, on a little sketching tour, Urban Sketchers, and uh, I was able to bring my, my pens and watercolor and we kind of explored the city um, from a kind of sketching perspective, which was kind of interesting. So that's the thing I always like about uh, the convention is to explore a new city and to understand the history and the, the culture that's there. And I, I felt one of the best ways to do that is through sketching because you, you spend time and understand things a little bit more intimately that way. And so that was a lot of fun, and, and I learned a lot and got to know a few people. Yeah. Well, I'm a volunteer, so it's a great way to look at the behavior of architects. <laughs> so also what's exciting is that the, the connection, the connectivity amongst my peers, you know, same architects, 
you know, the big smiles and also the certain feeling of growth and sort of the, the elements of surprise. Different ways or emphasizing different priorities and um, it helps where it's like, oh, I would rethink, you know, a different project that I'm working on and uh, we could use something similar or it just, just honestly just getting a different perspective and getting a refresh. It's almost like a reboot and uh, it's been really helpful. with my friends and colleagues, the two young men you saw earlier. We are board classmates, and we have developed a friendship that's now seven to eight years old. So that's, that's a big, that was a big one on the day one. Experience, well, this morning I worked as a volunteer, and this afternoon I was an average AIA person, and I went to several lectures. I went to the lectures at the, uh, the AIA booth, which were really nice. And what was fun is that I got to see colleagues that I hadn't seen in years and in a few instances decades. And that was really a nice feeling to see uh, my fellow architects in a light that I, that of maturity, I think is what it would be, that we've known each other for so long and grown apart and then in a way also together because of AIA. This one gentleman uh, you know, shared with me some techniques that he likes to use, drawing some charcoal base with an eraser and some other pens and brushes that he had and so we are able to share some ideas and thoughts with each other and, and that was, that was kind of neat from that perspective. Well, I think it's more of a uh, happy incident when I see many of my friends or, became, or people I get closer and known to be which I have not quite talked about or haven't been together for so many years. And it's good to, to know what's happening in their life as an architect. Bring a lot of business cards. I made the mistake of only bringing seven. That is tragically low. Um, <laughs> and bring portable chargers for your phone. And bring an empty notebook. You're going to be filling it full of people's contacts. Um, all sorts of like between the expo and seeing new ways of doing things and listening to people talk between workshops. Just keep your, your mind and your eyes and your ears open. Come be curious, approach, mingle with colleagues or future colleagues, and particularly if you're a young person, a student, approach someone who might be a little older and have a conversation. You ask questions, ask how you can get involved. Uh, enjoy the seminars and the keynotes. Keynotes are very inspirational. Uh, come and have a passion for, the, for people and for architecture. Uh, my advice is wear comfortable shoes, first of all. Keep hydrated, well fed, and be ready to meet a bunch of really new friends and old when you come here. And be proud of your profession. Be really proud. Uh, I would also like to invite more women and people of diversity to come to AIA because we need that. We need that balance, we need that camaraderie, and we need that commingling of experiences. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the biggest piece of advice I can give is to, is, is to spend some time with the city that it's in because that's such a unique opportunity that the convention provides. that. Uh, you know, you can go and have lunch and learns and go to classes anywhere, but to, to understand a new city is kind of unique. So I would encourage you to uh, take advantage of the tours uh, of the local area and learn about the architecture that's unique to that place, the people that are unique to that place, because you can learn so much that way, more than, than being in a class necessarily. Yes, I think, again, this sort of an amazement and sort of the element of surprise I encourage everybody to, to join in and participate, attend the, uh, all the festivities that the AI convention offers.